Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup haul. Some of these products in here are new releases, some are Christmas release holiday products which I'm really excited to share and some are just some products I've been wanting to pick up for quite a while so I was able to get them in some sales online so I wanted to share with you all these products that I picked up in this makeup haul today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Let's just get straight into it. If you'd like to see all these products in this makeup beauty haul, then please keep watching. Okay, first of all, I did some shopping on Sephora and I picked up some really amazing products. This product I've been wanting to try for a really long time, so I was finally able to pick it up. And it is this one here from Milk Makeup. This is the Hydro Grip Primer. And this has been absolutely raved about as one of the best primers on the market. So I really wanted to try it out. It looks really interesting to me. It's like a jelly type formula. It's meant to be a grip primer, meaning that it's a little bit on the tacky side and your foundation is just going to grip onto it and it lasts really well all day. So I'm really looking forward to trying out this one. Next, I picked up quite a few products from Fenty Beauty. Some are their regular range and some are some Christmas products that came out. So the first one, I was so incredibly happy when this came back online. I got it on the Fenty Beauty website and I went online and saw it and I just put it in my cart straight away. So this is the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. This one is in the shade Who Needs Clothes. It's a body illuminizer and can we just have a look at this packaging? It is absolutely stunning and this is just all my dreams come true in a bottle. It's just the most beautiful looking luminizer. It's more of a rose gold pearl tone and it just looks so beautiful. I can't wait to drench my body in this coming into summer here in Australia. So I'm very, very looking forward to trying this. I also picked up the new Diamond Bomb 2 Hollow At Me highlighter. I absolutely love the packaging. I'm not sure if it's picking up, but it's more of a holographic packaging. It looks so incredibly stunning. I just love Fenty Beauty highlighters. They're one of my absolute favorite formulas. So whenever they release a new one, I'm definitely <laughs> picking it up. So this is what the color looks like here. It's more of a reflective pearl with pink reflex through it. It is absolutely stunning. This looks so beautiful. I can't wait to see it on the skin. I've seen photos of it and it just looks amazing. I'll do a swatch so you can see what the color looks like. It is a little bit more of an iridescent highlighter. It's not too pigmented. So it's just going to give that beautiful reflect of a pink through it. You can see it just here on my hand. It just looks really, really beautiful. That pink reflect through it is so unique and so pretty. So I'm really looking forward to trying this on the skin. Next, I picked up two lip products that came in a set together for the holidays. These two here. The first one here is the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in Hint Hint. And this one here is the Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick. So my lips are in desperate need of some attention. They are so dry at the moment. It's just to the point of being quite painful. They're cracking a little bit on my lips as well. So anything to help my lips at the moment, I'm definitely up for. So the first one here, the Lip Balm. This one here has a really nice doe foot applicator. It's a clear color. And let's just put some on to see how moisturizing this is. Oh, that feels really nice. It's not too sticky, just feels really smooth and hydrating on my lips. So, mm. And it has a little bit of a minty taste to it, so that is beautiful. I'm definitely going to be putting this in my purse and using this constantly throughout summer when I have dry lips. And then we have the scrub stick, so it does have the little FB engraved on the top. And this is like a little sugar scrub stick to exfoliate your lips with before you apply product. I don't have a lot of lip exfoliators, so this one really interested me. So I'm definitely going to give this a go and hope that it helps to get rid of some of the dead skin cells on my lips and make them a lot smoother before I apply lip products. So really looking forward to trying out this one. Next, I picked up this really cute holiday set that came together. There's a little mini of the Gloss Bomb Lip Gloss and also a little mini highlighter here. I absolutely love anything mini and these two are so adorable. So this one here is a little mini Gloss Bomb. This was in this one is in the shade Sweet Mouth, so this is a limited edition color. It's actually not part of the regular line. This looks like such a beautiful soft pearl pink tone. This just looks so pretty. I could just see myself wearing this on its own. I just want a little bit of shine to the lips or on top of a matte lipstick. So I will definitely be wearing this quite a lot in summer. This will be in my handbag with the lip balm as well. 
And next is this little mini kilowatt foil highlighter in the shade Sandcastle. That's such a cute name. And this is a really interesting highlight color. It's almost like a taupey silver tone color. Very unique. I don't have anything like this. I'll do a swatch to see what it looks like. This one's a lot more pigmented than the other highlight. You can see it's definitely more of a foil finish. And that is what it looks like down here. It's very interesting, very unique color. It's definitely more of a pearl silvery tone, but really, really nice. I think this would look beautiful as an eyeshadow as well. So can't wait to try that one. And the last product from Fenty Beauty I picked up is one of these little mini stunner lip paints. This one is in the shade Underdog, and this just looks like such a beautiful color. It's a rich, deep burgundy. I love wearing these colors when I'm doing more natural eye makeup and I want a really dark berry lip. These are the kind of colors that I go for. This looks absolutely stunning. I'm really excited to try out this color. I'll do a swatch of it to show you what it looks like. I wish this was just a full size one because I can see myself using this quite a lot. Okay, wow, that is so opaque and so pigmented. That was one clean swatch. That looks like such a beautiful, deep burgundy tone. It's almost got a little bit of a brown in it as well, but this is going to look amazing on the lips. I'm really excited to try this. Next, I am so excited for these products. This has probably been one of the collections that I've been most interested to get that has come out. It is from Patrick Tarr, and can I just say I am in love with the whole monochrome collection. I did pick up a couple of products from the first launch, and I also picked up some of the new blushes, lip pencils, and lip creams from the newest launch. I can just tell I'm going to be wearing these non-stop throughout summer. So first of all, I got this little set that came together. So it's one of the little mini highlighting mists and it also came with the fan as well. I didn't have the fan last time. I do have a full size of the pearl shade in the highlighting mist, but I wanted to get another color. So this one is the Major Glow highlighting mist in the shade We Love Her, which is the pink pearl. I have the whiter pearl so this is a pinker tone which is going to be absolutely beautiful and then this fan here is just so pretty i love that it's a beautiful rose gold pink tone oh my gosh that's so pretty you can just use this to fan yourself when it's nice and hot in summer or you do use it to actually help set your setting spray and it's also a guide as to where to spray the highlighting mist as well. So really happy I was able to get that in a set with those two. Next up, I got the other two of the lip glosses. I do have the third color, which is more of the brighter pink tone, but I really wanted to pick up the other two because I absolutely love the formula. It's so amazing and it's so beautiful and glossy on my lips. So the first one of the Major Glow Lip Shine, this one here is called She's Expensive. And this is just the most beautiful pale nude gold lip gloss. I can just see myself wearing this all the time throughout summer. It's just got the perfect amount of reflect. It's not glittery and chunky. It just looks really smooth and beautiful. I'll do a swatch of that one on my arm. And this will once again pair with any lip color if you just want to add a little bit of shine and shimmer. So it is pretty much looking quite clear on my arm. But on my lips, I think it'll come out with a little bit more color, but it's just underneath the Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick, and it just has that beautiful reflect of a gold tone. So this is going to look absolutely amazing on the lips. And the second shade I have is called She's an Influencer. This is more of a rose gold pink tone. This one looks really beautiful. I'll do another swatch of that one next to She's Expensive. Yes, yeah, so this one's got more pink. You can definitely see the color a bit more. And it does have quite colorful reflex in it. There's some purple, there's some blue, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. These lip glosses are literally one of my favorite formulas at the moment. Patrick Tarr really did that with these. So I can't wait to wear these throughout summer. And from the new collection, I picked up two of these blushes. First of all, this packaging is absolutely incredible. The rose gold, I just think it looks really chic and really beautiful. So the first shade I got is called She's Adorable, which is this beautiful peachy pink, and this does have a shine in it. It has a reflect of gold. It looks absolutely beautiful. This is gonna be my everyday blush, I can already tell throughout summer. This is just the kind of blushes that I really like, so I definitely wanted to pick up this color. 
And the second shade here is called She's Seductive and Patrick Tarr actually talked me into getting this one. He's done quite a few looks using this. It does look like a really deep mauve rosy tone but it actually comes out a bit lighter on the skin. It just gives the most perfect flush of a mauvey pink tone on the cheeks. So that's what sold me on this one. Usually I don't go for these kind of deeper mauve tone blushes but once I saw him use it online I was like yeah okay I need to try that one. I don't have a blush that's really this kind of color that I use all that often so I'm going to try out this one and hopefully I really like it. I also got two of the Precision Lip Crayons. These look so stunning and these are click lip pencils which I thought were really interesting. So you take the lid off the top and you actually click the bottom to make the lip pencil come out but you have to be careful not to do it too quickly because you don't want too much product to come out because it doesn't go back down so you have to be careful with that but this just looks like such a stunning lip color this one is in the shade she's strong which is a deeper brown tone i'll do a swatch of this one next to the lip gloss oh that was a terrible swatch but that's what it looks like there. It's like a really beautiful nude brown tone, which I am definitely into at the moment with lip liners. And the other color here I've covered is called She's Proud. And this one's just got a little bit more pink undertone compared to the other shade. So this one's going to be perfect for when I want that more pinker undertone to my lips as opposed to the brown. But those are just absolutely beautiful colors. These are my kind of lip liner colors and they are really creamy, really pigmented as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying these. And the last two I picked up are the Monochromatic Moment Silky Lip Creams. I picked up two of the shades and I can already tell I'm going to be wearing these non-stop. I really like a creamy formula lip product, especially in summer when it's a bit drier and my lips are a little bit cracked. I don't tend to wear matte as much unless I'm wearing like a gloss over the top. So these are going to be absolutely perfect paired with the lip liners. So the first shade here I have is called She's Secure. This is more of a pink peach tone. Definitely my kind of nude shade. Oh my god, that is so stunning. <gasps> I could wear that with either of those lip liners and it would look beautiful. Oh my god, I'm in love with that colour. <gasps> That's stunning. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear this on my lips. And the other shade I picked up is called She's Independent. And this is more of a nude a brown tone. So let's swatch this one next to the other colour. Oh my god, yes. <gasps> These are so stunning. They're so smooth, creamy. They're so pigmented. That's the other color there. Oh my god, this has got me really excited to try these out. I'm definitely going to do a video trying out some of these products from this haul, so let me know what which ones you would like to see in the comments below. Next, I picked up from Dose of Colors a couple of products. The first one here is the new Meet Your Hue Foundation. I got the shade Light Medium 120. I've been wanting to get this for quite a while and actually got it off Beauty Bay. They had a sale, so I picked up this one and I'm really looking forward to trying it. It's meant to be a really nice medium coverage with a more satin finish, so not too matte, which is what I prefer. So I'm definitely going to have to try this one out in a video to see how it looks. And I also picked up the new Meet Your Hue Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Medium 13 and this looks like a really beautiful concealer. I've seen some reviews and everyone is raving about it. It's really creamy, it's hydrating under the eyes, it doesn't crease which is what I look for. So those two together I'm interested to see how they're going to work on my skin and I really can't wait to try them out. And I did also get the Dose of Colors Beauty Sponge. I'm just in the mood to try new sponges at the moment. I've picked up so many new makeup sponges recently. So I like that this one's got a really nice point to get right into the corner of the eyes and around the nose as well. So I'll definitely be trying this out with the foundation and the concealer. Next, I picked up a product from Kylie Cosmetics from one of her new collections, and it is the face palette here. This is the pressed powder face palette. So it does have a bronzer, blush, and two highlighters in here, and this just looks absolutely stunning. The reason I got this was because I was wanting to try out another highlighter, and I saw it actually came in the set. And I don't already have this bronzer or this blush, so I just thought I'd get it in the set and just see how it goes. But these look like such amazing colours. Oh my god, I can see myself wearing these all the time. The top left is more of your lighter champagne gold highlight. And this one here is a little bit more of a rosy gold. And I do wear both of those, so... I am definitely going to get a lot of use out of this coming up to summertime. Next, I have a couple of new holiday releases from Mecca here in Australia. And the first one here is from Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Glow 
face palette and this looked absolutely stunning. I got this because I really wanted to try out the new bronzer and highlighter and I saw that they were both in this palette and it just looks absolutely stunning. Just show you a bit closer and I just can't wait to use this. I think these are such beautiful shades. They look really pretty and this was only $38 Australian which is incredible for a bronzer blush and a highlighter. Definitely a good deal that I couldn't pass up. And next I got this little holiday kit from NARS. This is the Explicit Content Climax Mascara Set. So you actually get a full size Climax Mascara and a mini size for the same price as one large Climax Mascara. So I thought why not? This is literally my favourite mascara at the moment. I use this all the time. This one and the Too Faced Damn Girl. I kind of go back and forth between those. This one's my everyday mascara and the Too Faced one is for when I want more thicker glam lashes for nighttime, but I definitely needed to pick up another one of these. Mine is completely run out and I do like that I got a mini one so I can keep this in my bag if I ever need to touch up. So if you haven't tried out the NARS Climax Mascara, I highly recommend trying it. And the last holiday gift set from Mecca is this one here from Lano Lips. Originally I was just wanting the nude shade, but I saw that this came in a little set of three and it was a lot cheaper than to get them individually, so I got this little set here. So it comes with three of the tinted lip balms in the shade Nude, Rhubarb and Rose. So these are meant to be really hydrating, moisturizing lip balms. And like I said, my dry lips have just been such a pain lately that I'm looking for anything to help me moisturize them. So a balm is just something that's going to be really hydrating for my lips. So these three colors are gonna be really beautiful for summertime. And lastly, I picked up a few products from MAC. I used to work at MAC Cosmetics about, oh god, a few years ago now, and I'm still a freelance makeup artist, so I do have a pro card, so I do get 40% off MAC, which is amazing. So I did pick up a couple of products from the new Starry Eyes collection, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, the holiday collection. So first I got two of these eyeshadows, which I was so excited about. I absolutely love this formula. They did release them in a previous collection, and I fell in love with them, so I was so happy to see these back again. And let's just look at the packaging. Isn't that so stunning? I love anything glitter for the holidays. Okay, the first color I got is this beautiful, rich copper burgundy shade. This is called Stairs to the Stars. And this is a really unique formula. It's like a magnetic formula. When you put your finger in it, it actually sticks to your finger. And it's just the most pigmented eyeshadows ever. I'll do a swatch so I can show you. So I literally just tap my finger in here and it feels so smooth it's ridiculous and you can see how pigmented that is and that is the color on my arm there super shiny super sparkly definitely what you want for the holidays this is going to look so beautiful on the eyes and the second shade I picked up is called swing on a star and this is a beautiful combination of like a green blue brown color it just looks absolutely stunning it's very unique so I'll do a swatch of this one. I can't get over how soft it is when you put your finger in it. It's so cool. And so that is a swatch of the second colour. It's coming off more blue, but it definitely has some green and purple in it. It just looks so incredible. That will look amazing for a smoky eye look for the holidays. And I also picked up one of the lipsticks from the collection. And how beautiful is this packaging? It's got stars all around the outside. It looks so pretty. And the actual lipstick bullet packaging is incredible as well. It's all glittery and shiny. So it's black and then it's got this fade of the glitter at the top. It's so beautiful. Wait till you see the inside. I almost gasped when I saw these in the store. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, <gasps> look at that lipstick. Oh my gosh. This is a golden peachy nude and I don't even want to touch it. It looks so incredible. The texture and the detailing on this is just incredible so amazing and i'm going to do a swatch just because i want to see what the color is but i'm going to be super super careful because i don't want to ruin the design <laughs> okay that's not too bad so it comes off as like a really beautiful soft peachy golden nude with a bit of shimmer through it it just looks so beautiful this would be an amazing lip topper or if you're just wanting that really beautiful shine look on the lips on its own this would look really pretty these are such stunning colors i can't wait to try them out and lastly, I got a couple of lipsticks from MAC. They do the Back to MAC recycling. So when you finish your MAC products and they're empty, you can actually take them into store. And for every six products, you get a free lipstick or a free eyeshadow for recycling, which is amazing. 
So I did get five lipsticks. I had so many products to recycle. A couple are some of the newer lipsticks and a couple are just the regular range. So the first one here I have is a Powder Kiss lipstick. This one here is called Scattered Pearls. And this is just a really beautiful pink tone color. This looks so pretty. I'll swatch the colors so you can see what they look. I haven't tried the Powder Kiss formula, but they're meant to be really soft and really comfortable to wear on the lips. So that's the color there. It's a beautiful pink, really pretty, just a nice nude pink. And the next shade here is called Sultriness. This is a bit more of a cooler toned mauve pink. So I'll watch this one next to it and this is also the powder kiss formula it's just so soft when you swatch it it looks beautiful it's a really nice cooler toned pink this one I was really excited to try this is influentially it I see a lot of people rave about this color it's just a beautiful soft nude color this is also the powder kiss formula it's a very very light peachy nude this one at the bottom I would definitely wear a darker lip liner with this and use it more in the center of the lip for more of an ombre effect, but that's a really beautiful color. Next, we have just one of the retro matte lipsticks. This is called Dangerous. Isn't that just the perfect red for the holidays? So incredible. I love wearing red for the holidays. I'm always looking for beautiful red lipsticks. I have Ruby Woo and Russian Red, but this one is a little bit more of a cherry kind of red, a bit more of an orange red. That one is so stunning. That looks beautiful. I'm definitely gonna wear this throughout the holiday season. And the last color I have is called Down to an Art, and this is just a matte lipstick. And this one is a really unique color. It's almost like a rosy brown with a little bit of red through it. It's very, very unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So it's coming off a little bit more pink when you swatch it. It's definitely more of a rosier pink, though. That's a really awkward place to swatch, but you can see the color at the bottom here. So just a really nice... A little bit of a deeper tone nude color, so that looks really pretty as well. Okay, so those are all the products in this makeup haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You saw some new products that you might have been wanting to try out yourself. And I've shown you some swatches just for you to get an idea on what they look like. With the holidays coming up, there is definitely some amazing collections coming out and also some sets where you can save some money, like the ones I got from Fenty Beauty and from Mecca with the Lana Lips and the NARS sets. So definitely keep an eye out for those. There's always really good sales around the holiday time, especially Black Friday. I think I'll probably do some damage on Black Friday. It's always a good excuse to do some makeup shopping. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.